Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own custom LUTs in Pixelmator Pro and use them in Final Cut. Now, if you're not familiar with Pixelmator Pro, it's basically a jack of all trades image editing app that combines some elements of Photoshop as well as Illustrator. And it also kind of has some Canva vibes, but it also integrates with Apple Motion. And if you wanna see that workflow, I already made a video about that. I'll put a card to down here and link to it down below. But most importantly, it's in the process of getting acquired by Apple. So I think we're gonna see a lot more integration with Apple Motion and Final Cut Pro and Pixelmator Pro. So you definitely wanna get yourself familiar with this app and it's only 50 bucks in the App Store one-time fee. All right, but you can also use it to create LUTs. So let's do that now. So the cool thing about Pixelmator Pro is that it accepts video files. So I'm gonna select this video file and I'm just gonna drag it right to the Pixelmator Pro app and it's going to open that document with the exact dimensions of that video file. Now there's no timeline in Pixelmator but you can just like play your videos back. And the reason I'm bringing this video file into Pixelmator at this point is so I can see my color corrections before I actually export the LUT. So the first thing we want to do is add a color adjustments layer above this video file. Now, if you're looking at this UI and you're totally lost, I got you. I have a whole quick start tutorial about Pixelmator on my main channel that I will also link down below so you can get yourself caught up. So once we apply that color adjustments layer, all of my color tools open here on the right side of the screen. And so this shot is clearly shot and logged. So I'm just going to go through and make some adjustments with all of these tools. There's clearly a lot of color tools here in Pixelmator Pro. In my opinion, one of the things I feel like is missing are really good scopes. So I'm hoping that we're gonna get an improvement on the scope situation because making custom LUTs in Pixelmator is awesome. All right, so let's say I'm satisfied with this color correction. Here's the next steps. I'm gonna head up to the top of my color tools and hit this little button. Now, when you're creating LUTs, you cannot use the texture aware algorithm. So I'm going to disable that. And I do wanna point out to you that at the bottom of these color corrections, you can add, let's say, film grain to your correction, but this film grain doesn't come along with the LUT. So I'm just going to disable that and I'm going to add it on my own in Final Cut Pro. So now that I'm satisfied, let's go back to these options here and I'm going to export the adjustments as a LUT. And I'm just gonna call this LUT Rainy Days and I'm going to export it. Now let's head on over to Final Cut Pro. And here's a little sequence of these shots that I wanna apply the LUT to. So I'm gonna select the first shot. In my effects browser, I'm gonna head down to the color tools and grab this guy here, custom LUT. I'm gonna drag it onto my first shot. And then I want to choose a custom LUT. So this whole list of custom LUTs are ones that I've already imported into Final Cut, but to import a new one, go down to choose custom LUTs and select that LUT and hit open. And now you can see in my inspector that LUT has been applied and I can change the mix of it or anything else. And then from here, I would add the color adjustments, head back to my video inspector, this is super important, and you wanna drag those color adjustments above that custom LUT and then make your adjustments. I'm just gonna do a couple little tweaks there. And then once I'm satisfied, I would take these two effects and drag it to my next clip and do a little fine tuning again and so on and so forth dragging those effects to each shot and then just tweaking the color adjustments. So now all the shots in this scene have a uniform look that was super easy to make and custom created just for this project. And to give you an idea of this transformation, here's what the shot looked like in log. Here's what it looked like with the Sony camera LUT. Not crazy about this one. And here's what we did instead. What I love about this workflow is that it really solves two problems for me. First of all, I have a really hard time finding existing LUTs from other people that really fit the video I'm working on in terms of mood and the way it was shot. And being able to create my own is awesome. The other thing is that, and somebody a couple of videos ago pointed this out in the comments. The other thing is that Final Cut really does need a LUT preview feature because when you're applying LUTs to your video content, you're really doing it blind and it's a lot of trial and error and it can be really time consuming. And being able to pull in your own 
video shots into Pixelmator and see in real time how the color corrections you're making are affecting that clip is such a game changer. I'm so into it. If you wanna know more about Pixelmator Pro, I have a whole playlist about it on my main channel that I'm gonna stick right here for you guys. In the meantime, here's another video you might like. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you again.